Oh là là. Oh là là. I'm cornered. Ouf. Salut Survivors, welcome back to Solute Podcast Channel in Night of the Dead Legendary Series for the Wave 13 Ho Night. In today's video, I will first present to you the uh, maze development, after which I will uh, show you a brief uh, extract of the day, and we will then play the whole night. If you're new here today, bienvenue. I wish you a warm welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Now, today. Today has been, as you can see here, a, a big construction day of this uh, new entrance, a two-lane entrance here, as you can see, and then after it starts, one lane. Okay, that's what we have been discussing before. Uh, I had several thoughts about it. We have discussed in the channel to design the entrance as a V shape here, but uh, for now, I prefer to keep it all properly aligned and therefore uh, parallel. We even have these uh, these poles here or uh, the uh, exact spacing from these poles building one uh, wooden floor so that the, uh, the, uh, the grid lines of the building are properly established to reduce uh, problems of uh, misalignment. It already started a little bit, for example, uh, with this wall or with these fences, that's because of stairs. Stairs prevent you from putting properly uh, things aligned, unfortunately. Um, so, so we have now this uh, uh, entrance, too wide, uh, with uh, the three shredders, and then uh, above here, I more or less widen uh, what we had here as a duplicate there. So we now have uh, these uh, two lanes for the first row. We will see in the future if we need to change the remainder of the uh, separate mains also to two lanes or if we should change the two lanes to uh, three lanes. Uh, we will uh, see that in the future. Hopefully here that will uh, work well. We will uh, we'll test it today. I had one concern, uh, it's it's the access uh, for reloading the traps. So I made a test in my uh, normal difficulty uh, playthrough uh, on uh, what uh, elevation is uh, minimum necessary to be able to reload the traps. This one here, as you can see, it's one pole high. I had tested in the past 1.5 and it was not working. So I tested and the result of the test is that if you are at 1.2 pole high, then you can reload while crouching. So I didn't want to have the constraint to crouch to be able to reload, so I just kept it one pole high. So I had a second concern is would the tall zombies or looking tall zombies such as butchers, green zombies, big bad zombies, would they have enough headroom to go through here? Therefore, I went to uh, put in the city a butcher to bring him here. Please uh, enjoy this uh, short uh, excerpt of the day.
So as you could see, it works. Um, I had different thoughts about it. Uh, if this would not be working, that would actually have been a big advantage. In the sense that should zombies uh, not go through here, then they would uh, uh, be filtered, meaning the tall zombies would not go through and the uh, not tall zombies would go through. But it seems uh, if the butcher can go, I think the green and the big bad zombies will also be able to go. So they, they all can go. So they look taller, but actually their hitboxes is, uh, is the same as the other zombies. Or at least it fits under one pole high. Let me quickly get here. Let's upgrade that one. I have not upgraded uh, this uh, area here. It's still in tier 2, but that one should be tier 3. Good. So we are going to see how, uh, how it's working, this entrance. I guess I will have to reload it a lot. We will see. I have put some uh, small handrails to reduce the uh, risk of jumpers coming, obviously. And I have put this wall. I fear that I would fall here, arriving like this. So I need to be not running, not jumping, and take my time. So our first guest arriving on our uh, two lanes uh, highway, getting their tickets downstairs. <laughs> Now, they will of course use more this side, the one coming from the south, rather than the one from the north, right, um, for the initial waves. But when there will be more zombies, this should avoid them to choke here, and some should go there, right? That's the uh, goal at least. Now I'm, I'm really uh, running low on uh, on tree branches, so I will uh, be more and more uh, careful on uh, utilizing them uh, only when it's really needed, except for the final wave where I might need to use it before it's badly needed. And on the other hand, I will uh, prepare to uh, have a push farm. A bush tree farm because uh, I don't want to go spend uh, hours every day to go gather uh, tree branches as explained before and now I'm in a situation where I have more iron than tree branches so the bush tree farm will be necessary this will cost a lot of uh, manure and seeds and uh, for this I have uh, improved the uh, farms up to uh, tier 3. I will need to put more small animal traps to be able to uh, produce more manure and that will be uh, coming very soon. So I will focus in the coming days to uh, increase the uh, local production. Now we produce iron but I need to produce uh, more uh, intestines, uh, meat, branches. See, the, the, the iron machines have been really fantastic. I have been uh, harvesting them I, I, I believe five times today and uh, combined the three of them I had an average of uh, maybe 15, uh, 15 uh, metal ores per harvest. So I got around 75 total uh, metal ores. I mean that's, that's really great. Uh, Let's say out of the 75, there was maybe 5 to 10 that were uh, copper and the remainder was obviously all iron. So that's, that's really, uh, really fantastic on this aspect. So uh, 
when I will have a steady supply of all resources here locally that will guarantee a more uh, long-term supply of course and uh, will permit me to uh, think more peacefully about building rather than uh, going to spend an entire day to mine in the mountains take uh, a lot of risks every time when there is this trader ongoing I, I I don't know, it sounds like someone is bashing, but it's not. <laughs> Should heal first, the final wave will arrive soon, and the butchers will come with it. So in terms of tools and weapons upgrade, I'm already at plus 8, so that would be good to go to plus 10. But I, I don't think I will do this uh, first. Uh, I will focus now on, on really uh, getting the text that can uh, help me uh, develop uh, better, faster uh, the base, the construction aspect of the game. So yeah, of course these two shredders I need to reload very often while this one not so much at the moment. That will most likely happen for the final wave. So there are a lot that I'm not reloading while they are a bit low on counts. I will reload them just before the, uh, the final wave. We'll do a general tour. We actually have a cool view now on the entrance from here. I will not feel really safe here to be honest. <laughs> during the final wave and uh, there would be under me uh, dozens of elite zombies so I, I will move a little bit away things could go wrong we have seen already uh, butchers throwing cleavers before being under the radius of attraction of the mid bait and I will consider maybe these two handrails to be changed into walls in the near future that would probably become uh, something uh, wise to do we'll see But so far this new uh, two-lane entrance is really taking care of all the uh, trash mobs for the initial uh, waves so far. I mean we saw one running uh, fast, yeah exactly, she's there. But otherwise they, they all get uh, stopped here, they, they don't go further. Now for the moment, all the ones on this side here that fall off on the inner direction, they are uh, going back to the entrance, obviously. But the goal will be that they will in the future not come back anymore. Meaning that all the zombies uh, falling outside, they will go back to the entrance. All the ones falling inside and falling from the trapdoors in this return loop, they will go to the mid bait number two. That is the uh, uh, intended list. Okay, final wave coming. Let's uh, do a more thorough uh, reloading, repairing here. impatient to see how it will behave 
when the huge wave is coming, our new entrance. Let's have a look. They should arrive any minute now. Okay, some first uh, big bad zombies, green zombies are arriving. The fire exploding ones. Yes, so you see the ones falling, they do a U-turn uh, and come back to this sign. So for now that's great, but they will go to the maze too in the future. Target with uh, fi wave 15, ideally. Okay, let's start to do some reloads here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's noisy around here. Okay, they're kind of choking and the rest. I have not received any cleaver in my face. I'll take this uh, as a positive outcome for now. Okay, now is not any more time for the twigs optimization. <laughs> now it's time to shred and cut. Yeah, zero count. Okay, look so far, so good. The new entrance is doing its job. I think in the future I will build a, a bridge over here. That will be, I think, uh, useful to uh, reload and repair uh, more safely. They are kind of choking here. It's not just kind of choking, they are really heavily choking. As long as they don't damage the structures, that's all right. At least when they arrive, the uh, second part of the maze, they are uh, doing less of a problem. was a return of uh, riches that had done the entire tour. The 20, 20 branches left and I have been uh, kind of uh, being careful. Okay, look. We still have music. Maybe it's because of that one here. Or perhaps there will be some uh, later, later rivals. Lot of damages, and we see a lot at 70 80 percent. I have uh, taken the I think bad habit in the past to not reload, repair all everything properly to save on resources, save on time. I think I need to change this uh, bad habit in the in the near future. I will need to make sure that everything is 100 percent just before uh, the night comes. Oh, yeah, some late, late arrivals here. Oh, there is another one, a father. Oh, yeah, these guys, 
They regularly get stuck here, right? If you recall, I think it's in the episode 5 or 6. Oh, look, I'm not going to use 50 arrows on this now. Okay, we'll see later. Okay, sounds great. Our new entrance has worked really well. Awesome. I'm uh, very happy of uh, its behavior. Let's just make sure there is no other uh, latecomer now. Maybe I should go handle that uh, that one there. That's probably a good idea rather than it comes later at the moment when I'm not ready. Let's go. They had a trap! <laughs> Some late uh, bloomers. I did check and just before, but they are just fast. They are fast. Okay, no more. <laughs> I don't like these surprises. No, they are more. Multiple ones. Look, maybe what I can do is put a stair for them. <gasps> yeah, this uh, handrail has some uh, advantages and some disadvantages at the same time, right? Uh, not handrail, but the uh, railing on the side of the highway here. I'll put for them a little stair, I think. There are multiple ones. There are many, actually. Ah! Oh la la. Oh la la. I'm cornered. Oof. Ah, uh, that's a bit annoying, this glitch. So they get stuck until I come near and then they come in my face, right? <laughs> I really need to do my uh, revival uh, bag. It's planned, as we have discussed uh, before. I will do that because one of these days I will die. That will come. That will happen. Would he, uh, actually, I should have put maybe uh, first a platform, a foundation. Let's I wonder. We're going to test something then. Would you understand to do that? Let's see. It snapped. Yes, it does. Okay, super. No more clogging. Ali, come here. Whew! <laughs> so we got some uh, late night action here. <laughs> Whew! All in all, you know, the uh, most uh, difficult moment of the day is not when I sit in the base and reload traps. The most difficult moment of the day is when I'm outside the base fighting and then you have zombies jumping on you. That is the most difficult part. Okay, I think this time I don't see any more uh, stuck and we have this little uh, crossover for them. Okay. Good, they're all reloaded, so when there are some spawns, good, they will be taken care of. Super! Okay, so uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video. Please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And until then, have a good day. Oh, oh I hear noise. Oh, that was probably just a fox. So, yeah, for the one who's staying here, okay, five iron, one copper. Let's reload it. Six, eight. Oh, if uh, this one is, is a really good one. Eight, it's typically more. I think in average it's more around five. Ooh, eight again. Okay, great. 
Super. Ooh, a late butcher. <laughs> yeah, but I, I cannot just keep waiting until six in the morning for all the late, uh, late guys. Come here. I need to do things. Time is of the essence. Okay. Please get in. But it happens now uh, several times that there are some of these late bloomers. But I'm, I, I don't think it's the whole night. Oh, I'm not sure that the whole night. Uh, I think it's likely it is the uh, early uh, spawn of the day. It had happened in my normal difficulty to get some of these early spawn of the days with fire exploding zombies. I was I was uh, having my base uh, just adjacent to a gate, so I could see it. Okay, so we have a little uh, extension of the <laughs> shredding cutting today. Look, the butcher here in, in the entrance is completely stuck. It's nice. I need to reload. No? Oh, this one is. Okay, I will need to do a detailed uh, reloading, repairing, uh, all uh, neat and clean. But uh, I need to have hundreds of twigs on me to do that. I don't want to do half. Because if you do half, you cannot uh, do it 100% and then you cannot do under. So I just need to do the whole thing properly once and for all. Here I just do uh, a few reloadings. Okay, super. <laughs> I think this time that's really easy. And uh, Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And until then, have a good day. Cheers.